A lot of you know I love movies. I'm a big, big movie fan. And I look back at older movies. I love movies like, let's talk about some of them, okay? A Street Cat Named Bob. Somebody online suggested it to me once when we were talking movies and I had never seen it or heard of it and I loved it, loved it. Also, Mr. Nobody, I think that was also a suggestion. It's a 2009, sorry, sometimes I slur my words. I'm not drunk, I swear. Um, <laughs> Mr. Nobody, Jared Leto, 2009, director's cut, phenomenal film. I, when I watch a film, and I kind of view it from a spiritual level, okay? Not just like entertainment or characters or whatever, but from like a learning aspect, a growth, a human consciousness, awareness. Like, I really invest in that deep, okay? So I've rewatched Silver Linings Playbook a couple of times recently. And it was a movie I saw before, and it was kind of sad, and I kind of didn't know if I liked it the first two times I swatched it probably. But since I've been re-watching it, I feel like there's so much power in this film, so much personal growth and awareness that wouldn't have happened if things didn't line up as they lined up. And like when you have time by yourself and time to reflect and learn and grow, sometimes you, sometimes you think I need to keep this relationship and I need to stay in this relationship, even if it was like toxic or messy or bad or ended bad or whatever. Um, but when you take time to really reflect on yourself and grow, you realize that was no good for you and it was holding you back because once you free yourself and you find that peace within yourself and you do the things you like, you find you. There's so much power there. And so this movie for me, I just love rewatching this movie um, because I don't think it's just an entertainment movie and it's just like good actors and whatever. I think there's such a beautiful, deep, it's beautiful, messy life. And everyone has that experience in life. I mean, not everyone, probably, I don't know. I assume everyone goes through times that can be messy, but there's beauty in that mess, right? That's what I think, that's what I think. That's where I, I get this vibe from. So I'm rewatching it again, just because I find some enjoyment and pleasure in seeing the growth, the personal growth. And it reminds me, and it parallels parts of my own life, probably, you know, like we make mistakes when we're in our 20s or 30s. We, we, we do the wrong thing, but think we were doing the right thing. And then later you're older and you're like, wait a minute, that wasn't the right thing at all. That was a big bad mess. Anyway, I don't know what you guys think of this movie or other films that you enjoy or if there's lessons. I mean, there's some great older movies as well. I like really enjoy the 80s films, some 90s films. Um, and I like different things. I like different things. I mean, some, some TV. I, I definitely resort back to Friends a lot because it's, there's enjoyment there, but Redoing this movie right now, just kind of re-looking at Bradley Cooper was in it, right? With Jennifer Lawrence. And they were both messy when they met each other. And there's other characters as well that are all, towards the end, towards the end there's a scene where they're doing a dance together and his mom is watching him, his dad's watching him, uh, her sister's there. But the mom, I, yesterday I watched it on Mother's Day, right? And, and the mom watching her son, you know, I'm guessing he's 30 years old, doing a dance and putting enjoyment and time and finding his, finding some something in himself, right? She she looked at him with joy and pleasure to see and, and to see her son so happy and content, right? And like growing as a person. And I just love that part. It got me really gooey and it melted me. What can I say? Um, I'm a sappy, sappy girl. My moon is in cancer. So like, what can I tell you, right? This is me, I'm a sappy girl, I'm Sagittarius, I'm optimistic most of the time. I'm also a single girl because I like that, I like it, I've had issues, I've been divorced twice, so like we don't need to go there again. Anyway, if you can think of any other films we should talk about, I would like to talk about it. I like discussing movies. I hope you have a great day, I love you.